it is Rohit Sharma who comes into the side. He's been out for a couple of months. He damaged a finger uh, in the match in Cardiff. Long way away from here. And uh, that was in the one-day series. So he's been out and he's going to open the batting. And he's got a decent set of numbers, averaging 35, strike rate at 78, and that incredible innings at 209 against Australia, Bengaluru. Well, he's just one of the most uh, exciting batting talents around, Rohit Sharma. It's a bit too leg side from Nguyen Kulaseker. He's got the in-swing going straight away. And what he's got to do is shift his line another foot outside that off stump. Well, that... Oh, dear. It had to go. Kisara Pereira is the man at third man and he drops a sitter. Well, I'm not too sure players from the subcontinent are very comfortable trying to catch with their fingers pointing skywards. That is not what they're taught at the uh, junior level. So certainly trying to do that and this certainly was something that he could have taken uh, with the fingers pointing downwards. He's made a mess of it given uh, Rohit Sharma another opportunity. That's the short delivery. Not from the middle of the bat. That'll be his first boundary for Rohit Sharma. You'll hang in there, you'll get the loose balls. And when you put them away, you'll gain in confidence. Very good batting pitch again. Bowling at 118 Ks, you don't want to be bowling that particular length to a very good batsman. Very fine, that's going to be four. Just string a bit there in line. They had a beautiful line going earlier on, just about off stone. But bad line that one for Miranda. The first four delivery that he's bowled. Rohit Sharma won't mind it. Needs a few runs under his belt. That's bread and butter shot. For most Indian batsmen, played it nicely, played it late. That's a good hit. Look majestic from Rohit Sharma. He's trying to break the shackles. It's been hard work for the Indian batsman after the first four or five overs. The Lankans have bowled well since then, but this was a good shot on the up. It threw the line. A very good player when he plays well. He looks good. Flipped away. Rohit Sharma finding his timing. He struggled early. And over the last couple of overs, he played a wonderful shots. This is his strength. Again, like most of the Indian batsmen, uses the wrist really well. But Eranga cannot afford to bowl there to Rohit Sharma. There is a strong area. more runs in fact four more runs come back to that all the time in the world the bowling to quality batsmen Just sitting up in the wicket picked his pot with ease Roy Sharma he's looking good Five boundaries in the 71 balls for Rohit Sharma. He's on strike. Half century for Rohit Sharma on his return to this India side. Worked hard for these runs. Had an early escape, but since then he has really settled it down. He has shown that he's determined to get some runs. Gone airborne, straight over mid off. Four runs. Rohit Sharma, his sixth boundary, hitting clean through the line. Well, he sussed him out, seen that uh, Mendes wasn't doing anything, wasn't getting any purchase. So look at the confidence. The fielder is in the uh, 30 yard circle, so he's gone with a straight bat. 
one bounce over the boundary. Again, another clean stroke straight down the ground from uh, Rohit Sharma. He moves on to 60. Shimmy down the pitch and he makes it a full toss. Lovely ease of footwork there from Rohit Sharma. He's uh, changed up a gear. You can sense he's uh, really going after these bowlers now. Yes, he is. Uh He's got the confidence. He's been there for a while, got the confidence after a half century. Very good use of the feet. And moving just a little bit towards the leg side so he can play through that offside field. I'll tell you something about Sonny Gavaskar, shall we? This day in 1983, Sonny Gavaskar became the highest run getter in Test cricket, going past Jeffrey Boycott. Shot. Wide open space on that leg side, and it's very inviting for Rohit Sharma. These boundaries are just coming too easy. That's why neither Virat Kohli or Rohit Sharma are really too worried when they play dot balls. They know a boundary will be coming along not too far. Really easy now for the Indians. They're picking their spots with ease. No pressure whatsoever. He just didn't pick it up. Ajanta Mendes down there at uh, deep backward square. He seemed to move very late. There was a shout from Dilshan. He was lashed by uh, Virat Kohli. By Rohit Sharma rather. One more boundary for Rohit Sharma. That brings the 100 partnership between Rohit Sharma and Virat Kohli. Very important time. Good shot, but poor bowling by Nuan Kulasekara. Because his deep fielders are long on, long off, and the mid wicket, which is on the leg side. So he cannot give room outside the off stump, even if pace comes off the ball. If pace comes off the ball, it has to be a straighter line. All the fielders inside the ring, apart from Mirov, it's important that both these batsmen continue and convert this under run partnership into a bigger one. That's asking for trouble. Bowling shot and a slower delivery at that under 100 Ks. These are easy pickings. First six for Rohit Sharma. Easy pickings. The previous one outside the off stump, and this time rank short pitch deliveries. And when you're bowling to someone who is batting on 83 now, and you cannot afford to bowl that length. Rohit Sharma is looking all set to get the three figure mark. Change in the field. The fine leg has gone back. One more brilliant shot. This time an over pitch delivery from Kuleshekara. And put away for one more boundary. It takes Rohit to 93. Great over there for India. 16 runs coming. He asked for the batting power play and what a start. Again, the slow delivery wide of off stump. His protection in the deep early in the over. There was longer off. Would be brought in. Good skills from Rohit Sharma. He's on 93 now. It's a lightning quick outfield. It's a batsman. You don't have to worry. If he is, you'll know all about it. Hit the gap, you get good value. Absolutely, on this ground, all you have to do is place the ball in between the fielders and to race to the boundary, just like the one Rohit Sharma did in the last delivery. He, that boundary gets him to 97. See the timing. 
and the placement using his wrist opening the face of the bat hitting between the point and cover fielders there it is the 100 moment the fifth hundred in one day internationals very well played young man the dressing room happy and he's happy as well absolutely what a knock his first match after getting injured against england at cardiff and his strike rate 100 in just 100 balls 100% strike rate the first 50 runs he got in 72 balls but the second 50 in just 28 balls and that's the way he likes to pace his innings isn't it absolutely and i think this knock off Rohit Sharma is a great example for young batsmen who are watching this match. It's everyone should know their strength and play to their strength. Everyone is unique. A big moment for him. Got a big 100 in the practice game against Sri Lanka. Getting his opportunity in this game and how beautifully he has taken the opportunity. The entire team is delighted for the teammate Rohit Sharma. Yeah, I'm a big Roy Sharma fan and good to see him back in the runs. And I think his celebration here has some extra meaning in it for me somehow. This celebration here. The sheer class and timing. It's an easy ball, but you still have to hit the gaps. He just completed his 100 and he would have been thinking about that moment. But, you know, when he gets a loose delivery, he's quite happy to put it away. A lot of boundaries have come in the second 50 that Vivius was mentioning. And both these batsmen cannot be stopped. Six almost hitting from outside the off stump, but clearing the field with ease. Lane Bishop was talking about the speed's last delivery, 77 Ks, so that gave the batsman a lot of time to pick a spot. Short fine leg, short square leg in, short on. Because he's not a big turner of the ball. Four runs. This is uh, poor bowling. In straying in line with the field inside the ring, you're asking for big time trouble. Not at all convinced with the line. The bowling to both these batsmen. All Rohit had to do was put bat to ball. You cannot stop them getting boundaries or rotating the strike when they're bowling onto their pads. Another boundary for Rohit Sharma. He's cutting loose. It also gets 150 run partnership between Rohit and Virat in just 127 balls. Giving himself some room and playing over the middle of fielder. They're becoming too predictable with both great trying to bowl. Good shot, but should have been stopped by the fielder. The sloppy work inside the ring. Erenga, the culprit, will run away to the boundary. You have no chance of chasing and stopping the ball on this outfield. Can't afford to do that. Poor fielding. You're coming back to Bish. When India goes to Australia, you want all the batsmen to be in top form. And this is a great opportunity for them to get hundreds under their belt. Because you may play good, but if you're not converting that into big hundreds, it never adds to the confidence. Rohit Sharma is just toying with the bowling. Just chipping it over the cover fielder. Straight 
down the ground, it's another six. This is wonderful batting we're watching at Eden Gardens. It's a third six from Rohit Sharma. Started out well. See Kuge Prasanna in his first spell. But once the batsmen played themselves in, they've been toying with him. Right through the line. Cuts this away late for another boundary. Rohit Sharma is moving up gears here. 142. 18 boundaries and three sixes. What record is he heading for now? There has to be some record close by. He has a lot of time as well. Another 14 overs after this. That's exactly what I was thinking too. 209 is his high score. Smashed away again. Four more. It's the 150 up for Rohit Sharma. He is blazing all over this ground. It's wonderful to watch. Only 49 more to go. And there's going to be all kinds of records broken if he stays into the end, but it's just created a new one it's now the highest one day uh, international score on this ground that did belong to uh, Gautam Gambhir against Sri Lanka that was 150 Christmas Eve December 2009 Robin with the pose the new batsman straight over mid wicket with absolute contempt for the ball bowled at him Rohit Sharma hits his 4-6. Another hit me delivery. Halfway down the pitch and you can't bowl that to Rohit Sharma because he's in such good nick. And the way he's playing will not take too much time for him to get that. One more brilliant shot of Rohit Sharma stepping out and hitting over the mid-off region. Well, this is a magnificent shot. He gave himself just that little bit of distance between the bat and the ball. The fielder was in the 30-yard circle on the offside at mid-off. So no protection at all. It's a magnificent shot this uh, from uh, Rohit Sharma. Going round the wicket here. gone quickly and Kola Sekera couldn't get there 300 comes up for India that shows how quick the outfield is all Roy Sharma did was push the ball but Kola Sekera at long off position had no chance to stop it also it shows how good a timer Roy Sharma is into the gap and four more he's climbing into some of this bowling well he has been doing it for a while how can you stop him the previous boundary on the off stump and now on the onside beautiful use of wrist piercing the gap between the cow corner and the long one Angelo is trying everything. I think he should really ask for a quick change of rules and have 22 fielders. 11 fielders are not doing the job. He's hit the gap again. And it's uh, three boundaries in succession. Sonny wants more fielders. Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, it's not Angelo Matthews. Any captain in the kind of form that he is in, you want more than 11 fielders. Because look, there was a little bit of a gap there. Look at the way he's taken the ball early this time. And is it it's square? Terrific. This is great batsmanship. Whatever the quality of the attack, however good the pitch is, to be able to find the gaps with such ease is fantastic batsmanship. 
And then this one seemed to control wants to control the direction of the strokes more in front of the bat. Go straight to deep cover. Again, using his using the crease, one through offside, one through onside, and one which was outside the offstem, using the angle and hitting it over the vacant square leg fielder. That is shockingly bad bowling, to be quite honest. That is terrible. 18 off the over, 315 for four. That's poor bowling. It's okay to be hit off good deliveries. It cannot afford to bowl short and wide to a batsman who's batting for more than 180. What a return for Rohit Sharma to the international level. You got a life early on in case you missed any of it. Tassara Pereira putting down at third man. And I'm sure Tassara has lived every delivery since then. Was Jokalek well played, magnificent from Rohit Sharma. What a beauty, 325 for four. Oh, this is again a terrific shot. Looking for the Yorker. And the fielder was very wide and he just powered it straight past. And in the crowd, everybody's uh, got their uh, flashlights on. They want to capture the moment. You can see all the little, little dots in the crowd. That's everybody's cell phone cameras with the flashlight on. There it is. You can see that the flashlight is on. They are all waiting to capture this moment. It's hit well. It's hit very well. And it's a moment of history for Rohit Sharma. The first batsman to score two double hundreds in ODI cricket. For an outstanding innings from Rohit Sharma. Right from the start, he was in total control of this innings. The entire team is so pleased for him. Making a comeback of his sorts after his injury in England. The first batsman in the history of one-day international cricket to get two double hundreds. Oh, it's high in the air. There's a fielder under it. There's a fielder under it. He drops it anyway. Might have been a question of its height. Which is what Roy Chama is asking, but it doesn't matter. Prasanna has uh, spilled what should have been a sitter. Well, the umpire called it a no ball because of the height. The attempted Yorker going about the waist. There it is, there it is. It's gone about the waist according to the square leg umpire. Didn't quite time it in the middle. Maybe also a little bit tired. And that's it. That perhaps is the story of Sri Lanka in this series. Every century maker has been given a let off. Every century maker. And now he's got 200. Whether it is uh, Ajinkya Rahane or uh, Shikhar Dhawan, they've all been given let-offs and now you have Rohit Sharma given a let-off when he was four. And then now, again. Inside out, oh, what a wonderful stroke. What a fantastic range of shot-making for Sharma. He gets to his highest score with that brilliant shot. Not much room offered by the bowler, but he withdraws and creates that room and plays through the cover region. This is the moment when he got to his 200. Second time he's got 200. Oh, must be a big relief for him. He was uh, out of the game for a while with an injury. He's just made a comeback. That's really good to see. 
when your teammates celebrate with you or any milestone that shows the kind of team bonding exists in the Indian team at the moment. Oh, that's a solid crunch. Brings up the 350. It's a no ball, it means it's a free hit. But from the moment it left the bat, the noise was wonderful. I don't think it's going to make much of a difference whether it's a free hit or not, because that's the way Rohit Sharma has been batting anyway. He's been batting as if every single ball has been a free hit. This is a big no ball. It's a full toss on the on the pads. And he just helped it along. Not much effort there. It's timing once again. 216 now. Free hit coming up. Rinder Seva could now be pushed into second place with this delivery. He is. Rohit Sharma now becomes the highest score in one day internationals. He goes past Marinda Sewax 219. And with what a terrific shot. Not a streaky shot. Sweetly off the middle. Into the crowd at long off. Length ball all right. But it still had to be put away. And he's done it with typical Rohit Sharma elegance. Just the manner of the demolition here can do a lot of damage here to a feeling team's psyche. High in the air. This could be a tester. And he's missed it as well. Really has been a, a very, very embarrassing time with the catches for Matthews and his men. Rohit Sharma trying again to clear the infield. A tough chance for Tirumane, but this time doesn't judge at all and misses. Third drop catch for Rohit Sharma. It's getting from bad to worse for Sri Lanka. Kulsekra back in the attack. He might run away for four as well. Everything that comes off anywhere near center of the bat is reaching the boundary. Tight to bowl a Yorker wide off the off stump. And Rohit Sharma reaching out for that. Slightly uppish, but well away from that fielder. No chance for that deep third man. Well, is on to Twitter as well. Those are the sixes that he hit. Seven so far. Front foot pull. Stepping down and lofting it straight. And once again, a front foot uh, pull. Lofted drive. This, I think, probably the best. This is a full toss. Just helped it over square leg. And again, over long off. Magnificent stuff. Don't forget, 29 boundaries as well. Not just seven sixes. Over. Anyone close to it. And uh, another boundary. Matthews, that expression says it all for me. Doesn't know what to do, Angelo Matthews. It is now coming to 58%. Whether India will get to 400 or not. Well, he really is toying with the bowling. This is uh, ordinary bowling. Uh, Kulasekra certainly hasn't learned from uh, the 2011 experience. 
at that pace if you're going to bowl full tosses between the knee and the ankle you're just asking to be punished that's what's happening the full toss is effective when you've got pace and you bowl between the knee and the waist then sometimes it can hit the the, uh, the top half of the bat and go up in the air but between the knee and the ankle it goes invariably off the middle of the bat oh delicate 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 100 partnership comes up Uthappa has contributed to that as well he scored 12 of that 100 partnership so you cannot take away Uthappa's contribution how good was that he's got answers to each and every question the Sri Lankan bowlers are posing but the questions are not tough I feel for Sri Lanka here I mean this is this can be quite damaging really this carnage Now that, re how do you sum that up? That is toying. 382 for four. Well, this is an astonishing shot. Look at that. He's moved away to the offside. And as the ball is wider, he's still reached out for it. And he's brought his bottom hand into play. It's a flick. It's a flick over long on for a six. We can do anything on the cricket field. Everything coming out from the middle of the bat. As a kid, I used to play a game known as book cricket, where every ball would be either a four or a six. And what I'm seeing is exactly there every over there are three or four boundaries or maybe one or two sixes it's like book cricket that's how talented Rohit Sharma is and that last shot was an astonishing shot no question about it and that will be another boundary and he reaches 250 with that second batsman in the history of the game to score 250 runs in a limited overs game but this is an international. The first man to get to 250 in one day internationals. Rohit Sharma. And he's also gone past in the process. 248 that Shikhar Dhawan had got against the South Africa A team last year in August. That was the list A game. But that was the highest by an Indian. What an outstanding achievement by Rohit Sharma. A great moment for him. Everyone are pleased with the performance of Rohit Sharma. That's Yuvraj Singh, congratulating Rohit Sharma. One more six, this time straight down the ground. Well, that is fantastic, absolutely fantastic. The pulse question might still come, will India get to 450? It's raining fours and sixes at the Eden Gardens. A special place to play cricket. They're witnessing a special knock from a special player. And he will keep strike. 396 for four. Opening batsman for Sri Lanka would have expected a tough tour, but I think they've, they've talked a little bit more than they can chew here. Kulasekara for the last over.
Oh, well feel it. Very well feel it. Against Sri Lanka, 14 and 14 for 7. That's 400. The 11th time in one day internationals that a team has gone past that landmark. And India have now done it on five occasions. Another man on the verge of 100 is Kulasekara. He's given away 87 runs. Three deliveries left. Once again, making it easy at that pace, giving width, holding a length ball. But then that can happen, you can panic. Matthews, even in spite of the guys that have been missing, would have expected a greater deal of execution and skills from some of the young bowlers and some of the seniors on this tour. 400 has only taken 39 deliveries. Goodness me. Statistician Mohandas Menon says that is four short of the highest individual scores in in the Lister game. That was done by Alistair Brown. Out of the last ball of the innings, Mahila Jawadna takes the catch. Deathly silence greets it, but what an innings! Record-breaking innings from Rohit Sharma on return to the Indian team after 50 overs 404 for 5 India there is 264 of 173 deliveries 9 sixes 33 boundaries and everybody from the Sri Lankan team, despite the fact that they have taken a hammering, very, very sportingly coming and shaking Rohit Sharma's hands. Because even they know that in the kind of form that he's been in, they couldn't have done much. Yes, they dropped some catches, but in the end, even they would have probably enjoyed the kind of batsmanship that Rohit Sharma displayed. Because there was power, there was timing, there was elegance, there was just about everything.